health research has a context, and for a topic like health coaching and hypertension, there are important factors to consider in the locations of the patient population being researched. So health coaching is a communication strategy that has a culture and a context. Hypertension has lifestyle factors, and so those are things to consider when we're trying to generalize the results of research to our patient population here, wherever you are, I happen to be again in the US. So what I want to do is I want to track where the patients were in research, and there's a couple different ways to do this to customize your library. So the first thing here, as I, we want to look at the um, the window that you're viewing all of your citations and you'll see that there are some variables across the top here. And so these are the defaults and if you right click on the title bar you'll see that there are all of the fields that show up in your reference, um, your, your sorry, your window for each of your references. All of them could be made a variable that you can see in your home window, whatever's important to you. So one field that you could look at is author address. Um, that's one possibility. Another possibility you could look at is, I'll scroll up here and say place published. But neither of those is really going to tell you where the patient population is. So what I want to do is, as I start to read through my references and become more familiar with them, I'm going to take notes on those articles. And I can take notes manually on the articles by printing them out, but I also can take notes here in the program. So if I pull down my edit menu and I select preferences, I can come to um, all the different preferences for formatting and handling my library. And um, the default, I think when you pop into your uh, preferences here, you're looking at display fields. So this is how you can change what you see in your library window. And if we come back down here to reference types, I can modify my reference types to add in different fields. So journal articles, my default, that's mostly what I'm dealing with here in, in this library. So if I click on, I have journal articles selected and I select modify reference types, this will bring me to the different fields that uh, I can um, hide unwanted reference types or view uh, specific reference types. And so if I scroll down, you'll see that this is again all the information that you have for each one of your um, references. And I've made a custom field here, which is custom field number four, I've gone ahead and labeled that patient location. So when I came in, I noticed that custom one, two, six, and seven were already claimed, but custom four was not. And so there are other fields that you can look at, like you can take notes and you can take research notes, and those are fields where you would take notes on your articles, but I wanted to be able to sort by patient location. So I typed in my custom field, I called it patient location, and when I typed it in, I then selected apply to all reference types. Now I can't select that now because I've already done it, but all reference types from here forward, whether they're books or whether they're uh, interviews or press releases or reports, they're all going to use custom field number four as patient location. So I'll click on OK. And I would apply this, and I've already applied it, so I will also click on OK. And now when I go into my references, I can add the location of the research. So if I double click on a reference here and I scroll on down, I should be able to find my new field in my list. So let's see where we can find patient, patient location. Here it is. So right after PMCID, here's patient location. So if I wanted to limit myself to only studies in uh, the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, whatever that is, I would just track as I'm taking notes where the patients are located in each of my studies. So I don't need to do this for 1400 references, but this just shows how I could sort references by adding this information and then come into my home window and sort my columns so that the studies were organized by um, alphabetically. So if I came over here and I right clicked where it says last updated, um, if I don't really want to see last updated, then I would, let's see, get rid of last updated in my window. I would right click again and I could say give me custom four and custom four should show up as patient location. I'm not sure why that's not happening here, but it's not. 
Um, another possibility here is instead of clicking custom for field, I could select my research notes. So um, this helps you see everything in one place. Um, so here's my research notes. So if I wanted to add that information to my research notes, I would add, um, add information there and it would show up here. So if I resize my window here and I make my research notes longer, then I could write in something like, this is a wonderfully good study, I really want to use this, or the statistics were suspect, something like that. So this just gives you a chance to see how you can customize your window, how you can customize what you're seeing, and um, make sure that you're able to use what you have here to, uh, number one, we'll pop back up here and pull our articles up by their various ratings, but use this to take notes and start to manage your references to help you work towards your research proposal.